It's Wednesday, April 24th, and the puck drops tonight for a battle between Titans in the PWHL. Coming to you live from Montreal, we've got a rematch brewing as the high-flying Montreal team takes on their rivals from New York. Cannot afford to lose as they look to keep playoff dreams alive. Montreal, a lot can happen for them. Ray Murphy tries to win it back. Kept in the zone, Amanda Boulier. Fourth game here with Montreal. On the attack, Jesse Eldridge fighting for possession, gets tripped up. Boulet there on the back check to steal the puck away. Trading chances here in the first period. Daou now the other way. Melody Daou, a wide for Montreal. Looking for a centering pass off a skate of Boulet into the corner. It will go. Daou scored in our last game here with Montreal. Well, it's pretty impressive that Poulin can get that redirected towards the net given that she had a defender hanging off of her. <laughs> Made something out of nothing. As Marie Murphy will skate after this puck, Capel tries to keep it deep in the zone. As the Eldridge bringing the physicality early in this game. Boulier down low for a pass out in front. Eldridge will steal it away. Montreal, a few quick passes, getting some lanes here in New York's end. New York with a couple passes behind players in the neutral zone. It's taken away some of their speed. Kosnikov full of speed out wide, looking for a pass at center. She'll chase after the puck. Carpenter steals it away. Here comes Carpenter gaining speed. She has to get with her. Tries to the dog and Len wins that one. That's Carpenter, Abby Rock. Fun to watch here as the game goes on. Who's winning these face off? I mean, possession so important. As O'Neill tries to get through traffic, offside will be the call, so the faceoff will come just outside New York's end. When you start talking about faceoffs, this Montreal team, all four of their center this game, centers this game are over 50%, which is impressive, of course. That means they've got to go up tonight against Montreal. Off the glass and in! to set it, time it up and set it, and that puck did not rim and bounced in the net. And wouldn't that just be New York's luck right now? This is just a bank pass. Looks like it's going to rim into the zone. Green Schroeder's come out of the net to set it. Takes a funny hop, and into the net it goes. How about that for your first goal of the PWHL? Catherine Dow off the glass and in. Uh, just for New York team here in this first period. And that's just it. They got to do this for 60 minutes. Consistency, what every team is chasing as Sarah LaFour battles hard down low for Montreal. All four assists on her season so far. Bourbonnet feeding it ahead, looking for Sonia oh, wide. No. She looks to beat Bouillet. The 244 is in a foot race. Alpine, Dao skating after it, stolen away by Zandi Hart. She'll go D to D. Jamie Bourbonnet now looking up ice. Rock becoming a passing option. Daou taken down at center. She's going to go for a change as Rock feeds it deep into the zone. Keppel battling hard. Boulier landing the body. Looking for a play out in front. Dave hugging her post. O'Neill will steal it away. Listen, O'Neill so shifty. Gets it done here at net front. So she'll pick the puck up deep in the zone. And a Boulier. Bring it over from Ottawa back on March 18th with Theresa Venetia. Ottawa taking on Boston tonight as well. Lots of playoff implications in that matchup. We'll keep you posted as that game goes on. Two on two battle along the boards. Downey Landry lets that shark go, just blasts it from the blue line. She will go for change as New York looking for more sustained pressure. But Kristen O'Neill has a break. Has Stacy with her. O'Neill at wide. She'll feed it deep in the zone and go for a change. The more Stacy will skate after it. Or Stacey coming in this game with 87 shots on net, leading the team. As Carpenter looks for an option in front. Right now, New York is breaking the puck out so easily. And against O'Neill, Stacey, that shouldn't necessarily be the case. Michaela Grimentez for Stacey. Montreal with numbers. David lands it on net. Montreal getting some chances here off the rush. There are two and a half to go in the first period. Jaguar in front. New York with a chance, draws the penalty for the third time. Ambrose now at center. Power play back to work. Stacy working hard in the corner. Shelton 
Ryan. Comes to pin her up against the boards. The puck pulled back to Ambrose. Our play has been hot in recent games. Montreal looks to keep the streak alive. Poulain with patience in the corner before a play finds Ambrose along the blue line. Ambrose walks. She'll let the wrist shot go. Schroeder will make the save. Green Schroeder. HF goaltender of the year last year. Having a great game here tonight. Right over in front. Murphy trying to play it ahead. Green Murphy now in control for Montreal. Feeds it ahead for Kristen O'Neill. Two power play goals under here so far. Poulet out wide. Takes a look, finds Ambrose along the blue line. Takes the shot and holds. Stacy tries again, finding Ambrose as Rock gets closer. Poulet at the top of the circle. O'Neill in front, a rebound chance. He scores! Kristen O'Neill scores on the power play, and Montreal has a 2 0 lead. Well, we talked about Kristen O'Neill being new to this power play, and that is exactly what she did against Minnesota. It's almost the exact same goal where this puck goes down low to her, and she is able to walk out front and stop it home. And this is a power play that has been really together so we've awakened the beast in Montreal a power play that we knew all year could be so good and they're starting to show it now their timing could not be better as they get this close to playoffs Poulin down low O'Neill on her forehand walks out she gets two opportunities gets it past Schroeder on the second one what a great addition to this power play her third power Davier Woods Finds Borbidae along the blue line. Mike Zanny hard, tries to let the shot go. Poulin blocks it. As the penalty expires, Dubois joining in on the ice. And New York not able to land a shot on net on the power play. As you mentioned, Becky trying to get shots on net for them. And well, Montreal does do a good job of blocking shots. Well, that's just it, trying to get pucks to the net. Give and go, Dao in front for Dubois. A feed from Poulin. What a chance for Montreal. Dubois has net front as Boulier lets it go. Stop, trickle, she scores! And it's sweet, sweet revenge. Catherine Daou net front makes it 3 nothing Montreal. Well, Catherine Daou, right where she is best. She's a big body. She's able to occupy some space. She battles. She's hard to knock off pucks. She gets in front of Schroeder's eyes and makes things very difficult. Boulier with a beautiful shot to the net as well. Just finding those lanes. They've done a good job just being deceptive, finding the lane, getting it to net. And then Katu Bois, who is a solid presence in front. Catherine Dubois, her second goal on the season. The Quebec native. Well, that's got to feel good. She has had two penalties found away. Now on the set face off, O'Neill will pull it back. Beating it ahead for Ambrose. Stacy lets it go. She scores! Her third power play goal of the year for Stacy. Makes it 4 0 at Montreal. Well, we said you've awakened the beast when you give this power play too many opportunities. The way that they have been over the last few games. Laura Stacy had a goal very similar to this against Minnesota. As she gets that one timer going, it is a great shot. And she turns, gets everything into this and right on net. She's got that net front presence out front. And Maureen Murphy to put her team up for nothing. And that is backbreaking as you get into the last five minutes of the second period. Ambrose along the blue line. Walks the line, lets it go, tipped in front. Michaela Grand Mentez in his soft ice. Just in front of Schroeder, looking for a tip option. That's well, just another smart heads up play by Ambrose at the blue line. Coming off a four assist night. Aaron Ambrose, first player to ever accomplish that here in the PWHL. Carpenter, five long shot by Jaguar, lands, but hitting a few bodies on its way, so the puck will head back to center. Well, once again, Montreal getting in the shot lane, and that's another three on two. Again, well executed. They make that pass across the seam, but can't get the puck on net. Bounty Landry, deep in New York zone, pressured by Michaela Grand Mantez. She gets a piece of it. Borbonet will step in for help. 
Brent Landry sends it to center under 45 seconds to go in the second period. Dempsey sends it right back down into New York's territory. Board battle two on two. Final home game here for Montreal in the regular season at Verdun Auditorium. Giving these fans a show. Abundau open the scoring here tonight. Looks down low. Ella Shelton battling the clock here. A breakaway chance under 15 seconds to go. Shelton, she scores! Ella Shelton gets the job done. And New York has life. That's pretty impressive from a defender to be able to come through. She winds up on the breakaway from the defensive side of the zone. And the burst of speed with Ella Shelton. It's such an efficient stride. She doesn't look like she's moving that fast, but she beats both of Montreal's defenders. Is able to put that one top shelf to get her team on the board. And, you, know, you talk about this team having a lack of offense, and she certainly is not one of the players. She has been fantastic. See if you can rest them a little, give them a little less ice time, perhaps. It's a quick turnaround. Regular season ending May 5th. Playoffs starting shortly after. A long season for these athletes, and you think for many years, national team players in particular, they have not played this volume of hockey in a long time. Well, that's just it. They're not accustomed to it. And so, you know, what might not seem like a lot in terms of, say, an NHL schedule, it is for players who, who haven't played this, like you said, this volume of hockey. Speaking of the Marie Flip play at the start of the season, how excited she was just to bring back hockey to this fan base and being so grateful for them. Staying around. Now to bring hockey back here to the Verdun community, the Montreal community. It means a lot to her, and you can see it all on her face at the Bell Center just last week. O'Neill taken down along the half boards. Pucks come. Murphy wins it back. Apple trying to find Grant Mentes along the half boards. Roth will chase after it. Ballman back for Abby Brock. Shoots! Schroeder with the stop. Montreal a bit opportunistic on these turnover chances. Well, you start to push for offense when you're New York, and you don't want to give too much up, but sometimes it's the inevitability of trying to... Hobson. Up for Emma Woods. Now Carpenter. And over the blue line, Alex Carpenter holds, lets the shot go, pass, save, rebound, chance! Wow! And Renee Dupier in the crowd. And Bourbonnet pulls it back. She's looking for a better option. Zandy Hart walking in, steals it for Bourbonnet. Mike Zandy Hart walks the line, lets the shot go, triples out wide. Eldridge recovers, Rock now another angle, a high shot. Hitting the glass, kept in the zone by Zandy Hart. Under 40 seconds to go on this six on four chance for New York. Eldridge in front, looking for Woods, a puck's loose. Cleared to the half board by Montreal. Sammy Hart to Bourbonnet. That shot gets blocked. Eldridge rimming around, finding Rock up high. Under 15 seconds to go. Zanny Hart, Tabby Rock, empty net for New York. Orbanay to Rock. She'll hold Abby Rock, changing the angle. Eldridge now down low. Abby Rock looking for a better option. Out comes Keppel. Six on five. Dave Bam will hold. Pushed up against the boards. But then fans not pleased with seeing their captain tumbling into the boards. That was a two-on-one quickly, but New York too long, took too long to let it develop. Montreal got back to take it away. Hobson, chip and chase. Brooke Hobson in control for New York. In front, backhand champ. LaBelle trying to tuck it home. The shot just wide. She tucks it in. New York is on the board. Alexandra LaBelle. A short-handed goal. New York with a fighting chance. Oh, that's her first goal of the year, and that one is absolutely massive. 4-2 with four minutes left in this game. They're back to five on five, which again gives them that opportunity to go down the ice, get their goalie out, and see if they can get something else. They're going to need to score pretty quickly to give themselves a chance. 
A jailbreak goal, Alexandra LaBelle, her first of the season, tucks it in behind Davey. Trying to get by Melody Dalu. She'll have to head to center. That's a good idea to come to that high forward up top of the blue line and then sneak down. They just couldn't complete the pass. As a let's go Montreal chance here start late in this third period. Lots to play for. These two teams feeling like playoff hockey already. Jaguar up high. Hobson to Bourbonnet. Davey Bourbonnet fakes a shot. Caught up. Melody Dado in open cage. Feathers it in. 